Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today I'm gonna to be reacting and reviewing your dating profiles. So if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a story and I had you guys submit screen recordings of your dating profiles, and you guys did not disappoint. I got hundreds of dating profiles, so I could only pick a small amount to react to today. But if this is a style of video that you guys really enjoy, I will definitely do more in the future. So if you were not featured today, don't worry, you might be featured again in the future. Okay guys, so let's get started. I'm gonna be going through these, they're screen recordings, so I'm going to show you guys what I see while I'm looking at it. Um, I'm going to tell you maybe what you're doing well, what you could do a little bit better, some changes that you can make. So let's get started. Frankie. Your bio is funny. Sean Kingston was so right about beautiful girl. <laughs> okay. Again, photo pics, not really necessary. Yours is okay, the mirror is kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Crossed out my mom, by the way, don't want her on Tinder, LMAO, that's funny. Okay, overall, I think yours is good. You don't have any weird selfies. That one's fine. You have a video with your dog. Again, you only have one video, I think that's a good thing. You crossed out your mom, which I think is funny. Yeah, you're showing yourself doing things. I think you can get rid of the mirror picture. Other than that, I think you're good. Okay, cute, cute, cute. A little too posy, that one's funny though. Okay, shows you are laid back, you have a cool personality. That's definitely the best photo, I'm glad you have that one first. New in the city, I'm not very active on here. Eh. I don't think you need to put that you're not very active on here. I think sometimes that makes it seem like you actually are and you're trying to pretend that you're not or that's how a lot of girls would take it. So I think you can leave that one out. So you could say something cute about like being new to the city and I think you'd be good to go. Okay. Good, that one's good. That's good. Eh, unnecessary. That one's good. Get rid of the pool table photo. And then about me, I'm 183 tall and I'm into different sports. I feel like you can make that a little bit more interesting. You can say how tall you are, but kind of joke about it. And then um, like make it a little bit longer than that. Say what sports you're into or something like that. Just give a little bit more there, make it a little bit longer, but I can see what you're into by your photos, which is a good thing. You have all the right photos. I think they're great. Just get rid of the pool table one because it's kind of unnecessary, but just elaborate a little bit maybe in your bio and I think you'll be good. Cute. Good. No. Eh, not the best. That's funny. I think one video is good. Yeah. Okay, just make those couple changes that I mentioned and you're good there. Your bio says, how many eight-year-olds could you fight off before they overpower you? That's funny. Um, I kind of feel like I got to know a little bit more about you through your photos. So if you're able to do that, then you don't really have to say as much about yourself in your bio. Um, but it also says you're into music, tattoos, photography, working out, coffee. Great. Your bio is funny and what I like about it is that it could get a conversation going in the messages, which is always good. 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 You have a friend. It's great. Dress nicely. Mmm, oh, these selfies, guys. You have to be careful with the, the angles that you take selfies. This one is not, not super flattering. I mean, you have a beard and you're bald, so it works. Um, but it's just not the most flattering angle to take a selfie from below. It's kind of like when girls take selfies from really up high and you're like, am I supposed to be looking at the top of your head? What's going on? I always think kind of using an eye level, again, setting up that timer instead of taking a selfie from below always looks better. You could get rid of this photo. The last one was good. That's fine, someone took it of you. Good. 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 That's funny. <laughs> Okay, good. Okay, you didn't show me your bio, so I can't help you there, but I would just get rid of that selfie. It's not the worst. Uh, you pull it off better than maybe some guys would, 
but just something to be careful with. I do think it looks better when you set up a camera and kind of have it eye level or have someone take a photo for you. You did have a lot of photos with your friends. I think maybe you could get rid of one or two of those and replace them with better photos of just you. Um, but the rest of the photos were good, so great. Selfie in the mirror, not my favorite. Cute, is that your kid? Whose is it? At least in this photo, you can see your face. I don't understand the point of taking a mirror photo at the gym for your profile if your face is covered. Like, you have a cute outfit on in this, you have a cute gym outfit on, Gymshark, I see you. Uh, I can see your face, so it's really not the worst. Good, you have friends, that's a good photo. Good. Convert, former college soccer player, teacher and coach, owns lots of hoodies that you can wear. Perfect. So cute. Love it. Cute. Oh, is this a Christian dating app? I think you told me that in your message. Cute. Okay. Yeah. Great profile all around. I would just... Did I say something about your pictures? I would just get rid of this photo. This is your worst photo. It shouldn't be your first one. No offense. I'm really not trying to hurt your feelings, but this is not your best... This... That was your worst photo out of all of these. I think you get, delete the first photo, keep the rest, and make uh, this your profile picture. First photo that comes up. Oh, he's artsy. Cute. Um, you dress better than me, okay. Cute. The mirror pictures can work if, again, I can see your face or it's something funny. If it's not either one of those things, don't post a mirror photo, but I think this one is okay. Could you get away with not including it? Yeah, but it kind of shows your personality a little bit with the outfit um, and your little finger gun, <laughs> so. That's your best photo, that should be your profile. Oh, that's good too. Um, you dress better than me, what the heck? That's funny. Cute, your photos are really good. I would just, you could get rid of the mirror ones, but. You can be the juiciest peach in the world, but not everyone likes peaches. Cute. I would make it maybe say something about you. Uh, from your profile, you look artsy. You look like you have a very certain vibe, which I get from your photos, but maybe include a little bit more about you here instead of just some like random quote. Good quote though, I use it all the time, I love it. Um, cute. Okay, what else are you showing me here? The Michael Scott thing's funny. Anyone who likes The Office will like that. I love The Office, but I like that you didn't make it your whole personality. You just added it like randomly in there and I wasn't expecting it, so it was funny to see at the end. But yeah, great job. Your photos are awesome. I do think, you guys, not every photo needs to be professionally taken or look very nice. It does enhance your profile significantly when you have one or a couple very nice photos. You don't want them all to be so curated and perfect because then it maybe looks like you came across like you tried too hard. Um, but definitely, I think it really does enhance your profile and make you stand out. If I saw this profile, it would stand out to me because it's artsy and it's different than you know any of the other profiles I've looked at. So, great job. And I could see your sense of humor through your photos, which is always a great thing. Girls love funny guys. If you are not the most attractive guy, use being funny to your leverage. Use your sense of humor, dig it up out of there, show it to the world, because I promise you, so many guys get girls by just being funny. Doesn't matter what you look like. If you make her laugh, game over. Okay, cute photo. Good, perfect. That's funny, cute funny. You could get rid of that. Not necessary. Nah, delete. I can see your face, so it's not the worst. Okay, so make those little changes. Uh, let's adventure and cuddle. DM to book a photo shoot. I would get rid of let's adventure and cuddle. A lot of girls don't like that, but I would keep something about photo shoot. Um, you could say something like DM me if you want better photos than all of your friends. Like make it a cute little joke about the fact that you could take her photo. Don't make it sexual for sure. Cause I think a lot of guys on Tinder are just on there to like book a photography session with a girl. A lot of photographers look for models that way. So maybe say something else too. Like DM if you like adventures and want some cool new photos for your Instagram, something like that, where you're kind of saying that you're a photographer and you could take her photos um, like you already have there, but you're not including like cuddling 
or saying it in kind of a weird way. So make those little changes, but your photos are great. I liked the video being out in a setting like a mountain. Um, it made it a little bit more dynamic and made you stand out. Good. Pretty good at putting furniture together, kind of a nerd TBH, integrity, good vibes, down to try something new, always leave people better than you found them. Cute, I think you could get rid of kind of a nerd TBH, integrity, good vibes. Keep You could keep down to try anything new and then always leave people better than you found them. I think that says a lot about you and your personality. Um, so pretty good at putting furniture together, down to try something new, always leave people better than you found them. Would be fine, I think you could get rid of those other little things, um, but yeah see okay it tells a little bit about you which is good good photos do you see the difference it makes when you have someone take a photo for you or it looks like someone took your photo guys it changes your profile substantially please take my advice here cut it out with the weird angle selfies and the mirror photos please Cute, cute, good, you're showing one with friends, perfect. Swipe right if you love a good margarita, cute. I'm known for being supportive and accepting of how others feel, okay, cute. You could make that something funny too, but overall, great job. Cute photo. I'm back in school to become a teacher. I got a bachelor's in psychology back in 2015. Skateboarding and racing are what I like to have fun with, going fast, and my own real car isn't a in the budget yet for pets I think I have for pets I have a 55 gallon fresh water okay so the backbone of this is okay I like that you shared some things about yourself but I think you can kind of reword it and change things around to be better I would get rid of the emojis get rid of the skateboarding and racing or what I like to have fun with because you already have um, skateboarding down in your little interest section you could say that you're back in school to become a teacher um, and you have a bachelor and you have a psychology degree, I think the fact that you're educated will be attractive to women. I think that's always a good thing to have in your profile. Um, get rid of the pet thing and going fast in my own real car isn't in the budget yet. You don't need to even have that in there. I would just keep it short, sweet, to the point. You have your interests in your little section there. Um, yeah, so just kind of reformulate that a little bit, but your photos were good. Oh, you haven't shown me your photos yet. Your first photo was good. Okay, you're with friends there. Good, good. Eh, get rid of that because I can't even tell that to you. Cute. I would not have that as your main photo. I would use this as your main photo or that one. I would never use a shirtless photo as your first photo. You can have the shirtless photo in there. I think it's okay because someone took it of you and it's not like a mirror picture that you took trying to flex. Um, but I would have a photo with a shirt on as your first photo and maybe have the other one in there a little bit later. You're obviously built very well and girls will like that. So I think it's okay to show it off a little bit. Um, but you don't want to have that as your first photo. I would have either the second photo or the third photo be your first photo. The rest are good. Um, yeah, you have a photo with a friend. Cute. Great. Cute. Someone took it of you. That's great. Nursing student. Okay. I know that we haven't met yet, but I know your vibe. Okay. Cute. Says you're into festivals, travel, outdoors, fashion, dog lover. I'm, are you going to show me your pictures here? Yep. Oh, cute. You're wearing a Gucci belt. Oh. Cute pictures though. Cute, you have good style too. Oh, I reacted to your outfit one time. You know, street style is not my thing, but you totally rock it and pull it off 100%. Um, but I, your photos are great. Good, overall really great. All right guys, that is all I have for reacting and reviewing your dating profiles. And I also did wanna say, I don't mean to offend any of you or hurt your feelings. I hope that none of you felt that way after watching this video, but when you ask me for my honest advice, that's what I'm going to give you. So take this as your older sister giving you advice about your dating profile. Really try to be as honest as possible because I think that's what ultimately helps you out the most. It's not going to help you if I sit here and sugarcoat and say all of you are perfect. So 
take these little changes into consideration for all of you watching. Maybe now you can kind of go back to your profile and see things that you could change or work on. Again, make sure to follow that picture rule I have and then keeping your bio short and sweet with maybe a little bit of sense of humor and then something about you as well. So if you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys on there and that's how you're going to be able to participate in future videos like this on my channel. So if you want to participate, you have to be following me on Instagram. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.